Hello everyone, welcome to your brains and this is Naveen. Uh, in this video, we'll see a new question that is string yak. Okay, so suppose the string yak is unlucky. So they're saying that uh, string yak is unlucky. Okay, so given a string written a version where all the yaks has been removed. So they may give a string in that you have to remove all the yaks. Okay, but one condition here where a can be any character this a can be any character so the act string will not overlap mm, okay yeah so they are saying what is yak is unlucky the string called yak is unlucky the substring and what you have to do is you have to return a version where i mean the new string where the yak has been removed we have to remove this yak uh, string but one condition it can be y a k or in place of a it can be any character and yak string will not be overlap okay if you understand the test case something like this yak and pack okay in this this yak has to be removed so you get the answer what p a k okay uh, if i say x y b k p Okay, then watch. Now watch Y A K, right? So it is Y B K. It's not Yak, but they have asked the condition like A can be any character. It means it can be B, it can be A, it can be S, it can be anything, right? It can be anything like a star assume. Okay, so this has to be removed. Okay, if you remove that, what happens? So X and P K okay so like this uh, and let's make one more so g h y t k g h then watch see here g h and g h here and this is y t k so this t can be anything it'll be like this so it will be g h and the next g h so this we have to remove so how you find out this exactly y and k we don't need to consider the middle character it can be anything and we have to check this to be y and this to be k okay so for this reason so how you check this is uh but first of all y a k right so it means what how many characters three characters so first condition you have to check the length of the string the first condition you have to check length of the string to be three must ensure right so length should be three and the character you can just take i so the char h the position of i should be y and the char h the position of uh, i plus 2 because i plus 1 will be star we don't care that we just see i plus 2 will be is equal to k and if this condition match then we don't need to add the string we have to go for the next one but how you go to the next one i mean uh, assume this is one right and two is star and three is this one and we have to go for increment of next one so you can make the i value i is equal to i plus 2 so just increment that next to two characters and go check okay so that's the pseudocode and now let's write the solution for this yeah let me go here let me copy this back to my eclipse and let me paste here okay so let me take a string temp is equal to empty string okay so let me loop this string so for uh, integer i equal to 0 and i less than str dot length and then i plus plus okay so here uh, what you have to check is if str dot char h of i is, is equal to the character called y and str dot we are not we are not supposed to check i plus one okay because this a can be anything 
so i'm just checking the then next character so you can go for str dot caret of i plus one is is equal to k okay then so if it is match for suppose uh, yes y a k or y or uh, whatever y b k or c k if that particular string has match what you have to do you must not add the string you have to add the next string so you have to add the next string means you must not go to the immediate next uh, index you have to just remove this i mean next uh, after this k what is the index that has to go so i can just write like this as per our analysis i should be i as equal to i plus 2 so go for the next character okay and then else if this condition is match we don't need to add that to the temporary string just go for the next character because why i'm doing this is they also given a condition that they must not overlap okay so for that reason i made i plus 2 okay if this yak is not a uh, match i plus 2 suppose if this is not there the yak string is not matched then that we required okay so that i add to the string so temp uh, plus is equal to str dot char h of i okay and then return the temp okay so now one more thing will be here see if i say sorry it's not i plus one it's i plus two right the, ne the next character okay so now here uh, it is perfect but one more thing will be what if suppose i will be the last character index so what happened i plus two will go to the index out of bound exception so you have to cross check first is this should not be go out of the string string index so for that condition also you can add here so i plus 2 is less than str dot length and this condition is as usual okay so now let me check this let me save and let me just copy this and go to here paste it click on go yes wow success so that's what the solution and you have to check all this right okay so that is a solution and let me just uh, reduce this mm, okay fine and in this video description i'm going to give you this uh, link for this particular solution so please practice on this and thank you so much for watching and we'll see the next question in the next video thank you